What's up everyone? Today I'm going to finish this mod. So the last parts needing attention are the fuel caps, exhaust, gun barrels, and machine guns, I think. Let's start with the fuel caps. I need to mix some ugly blackish orange mixture to simulate the dust mixed with diesel fuel. I will use diesel exhaust runs effect which has a nice bluish tint. Rusty pigment will add that orange effect I'm after. And murky water which is a brownish enamel gloss will keep the mixture glossy. I simply painted it around the fuel caps and blended the edges. The second cap gave me some trouble as I wasn't satisfied with the result and kept reworking it. Guess I just need to make my life complicated. Now it looks ok, so let's finish the exhaust. First thing I needed to do was to add more dust under the pipe. Soviet diesel contained a lot of oil which dripped from the exhaust and attracted dust. I like to simulate smoke effects around exhaust with dark grey pigments. I just brush the pigment dry keeping the effect subtle. And then, this time using diesel exhaust run straight from the bottle, I painted a small streak running from the pipe and blended it. The last thing was to use pure black pigment and brush it on the tip and inside of the exhaust pipe. I did the same thing at the ends of the gun barrels. It's best to keep the smoke effects as subtle as you can, otherwise they will look too overwhelming. Now I had to reapply a wash to some parts. These are mostly moving parts which should have a deep gap around them. Hatches and gun mounts are a great example of this. Rust and dust tones found their way into them during the weathering process and it didn't look so good. You will often need to go back and forth with techniques such as this to achieve a nice sharp finish. Now it's time for some greasy effects. I didn't find any visible moving parts on the model that would naturally need lots of grease except the support wheels. The process is as always very easy. I just painted two light layers of grease around the bearing mechanism and blended it. Then I did the same thing on the suspension hinges. And now for the most sophisticated tool in modeling. Pencil. Going over exposed and chipped parts with graphite is the best finishing touch. Because it will give them a nice metallic sheen. It's one of the most simple, most important and most overlooked and forgotten part of the painting process. I also have this graphite stick which is less precise, but it's softer. I often use it on edges that can be easily damaged if the pencil is too sharp. But more importantly, I have it as a source of graphite powder.
I use a silicone brush as an applicator. It's awesome because it also works as a polishing tool, leaving absolutely insane polished metal effect. Take these wheels from another model as an example. Painted with silver and polished with graphite. And BOOM! The model is now finished! That means I should make some final conclusion or something? I don't know. Well, I think the most obvious thing I realized while working on it is that it is extremely easy to build. At least the way I did it. Um, I don't know about the interior for obvious reasons, but it's actually not that easy to paint. It's completely different from any other tank you can imagine, which makes the painting quite tricky. And by quite, I mean a lot. Let me tell you that. So, if you're thinking about building this model, and you probably should because it's one hell of a unique model, my advice to you is, be more careful with what you're doing. You might get surprised that stuff you feel confident about will not work on this subject. I learned that the hard way several times with the track, mod, and um, the streaking effects, to name a few situations. Also, I feel that I'm a much better photographer than a filmmaker, so I made some final pictures of the model. I also made an Instagram account, which you can see on the screen right now, and it's also linked in the description of this video. So if you want to see all of those pictures and maybe study them more closely, it will make me truly happy to see you guys there dropping me a follow and maybe a like or two. I'll be posting more photos of my previous and future builds as well, so it might be worth checking out. Also also, if you enjoyed this series and maybe learned something new or got inspired, hit the subscribe icon and the little bell icon to get notified each time I post. The next series will be a bit shorter because it's gonna be a 170 second scale model and it will start next week. And it's also gonna be a normal tank and not some ball shaped thing. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be fun. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you mates in the next one.